Whenever I think of Catholic charities, I always think of that phrase in the Gospel of St. Matthew. That day when Jesus stood in front of his disciples and they asked him the question, a simple question. They said to him, Lord, when did we ever abandon you? When did we ever leave you on your own? When did we ever forget about you? Jesus answered that simple question. He didn't say when we did some terrible things in our lives. All he said was, well, remember that day when you met that person who was hungry? You met that person who was naked? You met that person who was totally abandoned, lonely, insecure, that person who had nowhere to go, nowhere to live, nowhere to sleep, nowhere to eat. He said to them, that was the day that you abandoned me, you forgot of me. Because whatever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do to me. Every day in our community, so much good happens for people who are vulnerable and struggling. Catholic Charities provides that good through your help and your resources. We work together with other collaborators to welcome strangers, to enable families to be self-sufficient, to provide help, create hope in the lives of people throughout the Dallas community. We invite you to join us in this effort. We invite you to see the good work that is done every day in the name of the Catholic community because the Gospel calls us to this work of helping families together to be self-sufficient, to live in dignity, to have lives where they can also care for their own children. Catholic Charities enables us to do that and you enable us to have Catholic Charities be a part of our community. At the Maternity and Adoption Program for Catholic Charities, um, we assist women with unplanned pregnancies. Um, four out of ten unplanned pregnancies end in abortion. And we want to let women know that there is another option. Adoption is an option, and so we start with parenting counseling and then move into adoption if they so choose. We also provide permanent homes for children in the foster care system. There are over 33,000 foster children in the state of Texas and we um, are able to provide homes um, for these kids so that they are finally home. Five years ago, if anybody had told us we'd be here with two boys and now a little baby girl, never would have believed them. And it's enriched our lives, it's helped these little babies who needed uh, stable families, mothers and fathers, and helped these birth moms who needed real options and real choices uh, to provide for, to benefit their lives and their, their children's lives. And we just thank Catholic Charities so much uh, for helping us and helping grow our family. At the Mary R. Sainer Child Development Center, we provide an early childhood education for children that are six weeks to five years old. We really try to focus on the education piece, so we provide academics, we provide social skills, we do everything we can to make sure that child has what they need for their early start. And we know that if they have a quality early childhood education, they will more than likely have a successful academic career. So that's what we try to do every single day. At home, we don't have time to teach them anything. It's just a, a very busy life with three kids and going to me and my husband to work. So it's um, a lot, a lot of help here. We went to the forward to like two months ago and we took them so they'll learn the name of the animals and so they will see the animals there. And we're walking into the zoo and he was telling us, oh look, all the animals and look at the zebras. And, and he was started counting the zebras. One, two, three, four zebras, mommy. And look at the lions. He was telling us then all the names of the animals. Yeah, and elephant. Yes, elephants. And that's why um, this is, Sainer has been a blessing for us. They learned so much here. I feel so blessed to work for Catholic Charities Immigration and Legal Services. Working with immigrants, you hear a lot of the preconceived notions and prejudices that they're illegal and they shouldn't be here, but they're just like you and me, and they have their own story. 
that Catholic Churches tell me one thing. Tell me you are you are you are good and no nobody no boyfriend or your husband or whatever you call no one is wanna you know touch because you are a person you are a person and uh, you have opportunity here and Catholic churches give me the opportunity. They help me a lot, a lot, a lot, because I feel like uh, I have reason in this life. My son is one of, one of these reasons. And then um, they help me a lot. And then I come back when I finish my uh, therapy. And I come back and uh, they tell me, and that's another thing good for you. You can apply for a resident car. And I say, but my husband don't want to sign papers for me. And uh, they say, who cares? Who cares your husband? And I say, okay, just tell me. <laughs> just tell me uh, what is the next step.